Hi, it's Rachel with Serenity. So in my previous video, I was talking about this concept of today and how that signifies that word today is the time of Christ's kingdom being instilled in the earth. And what that means is that righteous reign is taking over. And in this video, I want to talk about how important it is to be a part of that righteous reign. And what's happening right now is so many people are being distracted by outward things. You know, they're looking for Christ to come outwardly. They're focused on all the things that are happening in the world. And Jesus told us these things would happen. In Luke 21, 25 and 26, he said, There will be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and on the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. It's like God shaking this earth. And if you're holding on to it, then you're facing a lot of turmoil. But if you're releasing and you're embracing him and being taken into his kingdom of light, then you're actually finding peace and rest in the midst of this turmoil. And I'm going to dive into that. But So what's happening are people are focusing so much outwardly that they're neglecting the most important thing, which is the state of their soul. Because when Christ returns that spirit to fill us, Christ is basically filling us with himself, those vessels that have been prepared by the Holy Spirit to do that, then if you've been prepared, then you're going to receive them. If you haven't, then you are not. And I'm going to talk about that. But that's why it's so important to be focusing on your spirit. So Luke 21, 34 and 36, it says, But take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, and cares of this life, and that day come upon you unexpectedly. So if you're just not focusing at all on the state of your spirit, if you're out here just focusing on the cares of life, all this stuff, then you're not even going to see when that day approaches. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about what that's going to look like. For it will become, for it will come as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch, therefore, and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So you're watching, but you're watching internally. Yes, you see the chaos in that world, and it's definitely a sign, okay? But the key here is that you are that prepared vessel to receive Christ. So you want really what you're watching for is that union and that dynamic was happening in your spirit of the Holy Spirit really preparing you for that union. So over this past year, and this is what people have been experiencing, a true purging and cleansing and renewal and a revelation of truth and understanding of the word, all these things because God's assembling the truth in them. The Holy Spirit's assembling the truth in them. She's been like this, it's like we've been in this womb and that Holy Spirit, that wisdom spirit, it's talked about in like in Proverbs, it's been preparing those who would listen to her and, and embrace her and, and learn so that when that Christ spirit come, you're, you can receive that because you've been sanctified to enough to receive that spirit. You've died to yourself. You haven't been sowing the things of the flesh. You haven't been focusing on the finite resources, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the love of money, the pride of life, the outward images. People are serving so many images, images of who they should be, what is successful, um, what it means to be valued, and they're looking at the world's definitions, and so they're serving the world's images instead of looking at the infinite resources and sowing those treasures in heaven where nothing can take that away from you. And that is that true righteousness, the true honor and the love and the peace and letting that rule your mind and the wisdom of God and walking in the wisdom of God. And that is that truth. Truth is walking in the ways of God. 
Because what people want, they want peace, they want true love, they want to have this life where they have this satisfaction in their soul, purpose and meaning, right? That's what God wants to give you. And the lie has been that God doesn't want to give you that. But that's what God wants to give you. And so if you have been, if you've been sowing in that righteousness, that those are all the things that you've been starting to understand and to learn. And you realize it has nothing to do with the wisdom of the world. But it's the wisdom of God that brings those things into your life. So that truth is understanding that it's God's ways that lead to the abundant life and not the ways of the world. And remember, whatever your truth is, meaning even if your truth are actually lies, that's what you're creating is death and suffering and pain and hardship because that's what lies create because it's full of sin and death. But if you've been discovering truth and learning truth from God, then you've been seeing the, the fruit of righteousness, the fruit of God growing your life. The true love, the true care, the real forgiveness, all these things that I've been talking about. Okay, so who are worthy? Those that have been sowing righteousness. So now he says in 17, 20, 21, now when he at, was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God does not come with observation. Nor will they say, see here or see there, for indeed the kingdom of God is within you. And that's what I'm talking about. So you have these, all people are so focused outward. That's not where you should be watching right now. You should be watching within because the Holy Spirit has been beckoning you to be prepared. And people have been feeling and experiencing this. And when you're prepared, then you can receive that union with Christ. And when that happens, which I'm going to talk about in my next video, that's when the sons of God are revealed. Remember, the sons of God are those who are led by the Spirit of God. You're not led by the cares of the world. You're not responding to that, but you're led by the Spirit of God. It comes from within out. Till next time, keep stirring the deep. It's the one thing that changes everything else.